Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to show you how you can fix a uh, game out of memory for GTA V. Basically when you launch up the game, it's going to give you an error called um, game, uh, game out of memory. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. So basically um, the problem is um, your um, GTA V hasn't uh, has and the guy and it's a problem in the game config files. And basically, um, GTA 5 doesn't have enough assigned a memory RAM or VRAM for a GTA V. So basically, how you can fix this actually, when you go into the game, you need to actually uh, lower your graphics and do some stuff, but actually, you can get to the game. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. So first of all, you're going to go into your GTA V, and then you're going to click on right click and go for open file location. Now, once you go to open file location, you're going to click on GTA V, okay, and then you're going to click on properties to make sure you have the latest version ever installed. Now, you're going to click on details, and as you can see, um, the product version, as you can see over here, is 1.028.45.0. You need to make sure this is the latest version that is installed. Now, once we do that, now we need to replace our uh, game config files. So, to replace this, you can't actually access it um, like this. Um, so, you need something called OpenVI. It's a mod, okay? It's not a mod. It's something that helps you install a mod, and it won't break your game. But, but... Um, just so we make sure we don't have any problems, make sure you have a backup to your files of GTA V. Now, uh, how we can install this, you're going to op open up any browser and you're going to search for OpenVI in GTA 5 mods. And you're going to download it. Now, once we download it, um, we're going to start downloading, um, we're going to, going to start downloading OpenVI. Okay, um, now once we start downloading the OpenVI, I'm going to meet you there. Um, now, if this link doesn't work for you, as you can see for me over here, it doesn't work. Um, you can actually go for another link, uh, which is uh, down, uh, under it. It's called the OpenVI Download Number One Modding Tool. It's actually the official website, but I just didn't realize it's actually here. And then you're going to scroll down, and you're going to click here. Now, once you uh, click on this, okay, and you download it, as you can see over here, OpenVI Setup. Okay, now, once you click on it, okay, we're going to minimize this for now. <clears throat> you're going to choose um, English, okay? And once you uh, choose English, you're going to wait for it to set, to set up the game. Uh, to set up the OpenVI, it's going to start installing, and then... Okay, so <clears throat> okay, so if um, OpenVI doesn't work for you, which is most likely most most likely not going to work because server there's a problem with the servers, you're actually going to download something called GTA Manager from the same place. Okay, it's actually uh, called GTA Manager 2.00. Um, once you have once you once you have this installed, okay, you're going to go onto Control Panel. Okay, I actually found this fix myself. Okay, and then you're going to download GTA Manager. I'll open this in GTA, and then you're going to click on GTA Manager as you can see over here. .exe. Now, once you download it, you're actually going to um, to pick the directory of your GTA V where I actually uh, have it installed. I actually pick the GTA V and then GTA V, your shortcut, and then click on open. Now, once you do this, you're actually going to click on exit and enable scripts. Okay, and then you're going to click on, first of all, if you click on open, this is actually going to show you the game directory. You need to make sure you're on the right the game directory. Now, once you have this, you're going to click on add. And once you click on add, you're going to navigate first to download the config file, this config file. So you're going to go with as um, you're going to go with the link of this uh, this thing. You're actually going to go into five mods, okay. And then five mods, you're going to search for game config, okay. When you search for game config, you're going to download the latest one, which has the same version that we have, and we're going to download it. Now, once we download it, we're going to extract it, okay, over here. And once we have it extracted, you are going to find all of these uh, files, okay. You can actually read these if you want. Okay, now you have over here a backup file which has the game config. Okay, if you actually don't actually open it, we're here going to find all the config um, settings, which you actually you're not going to understand anything from it, but I just decided to show it to you. Now, um, what you need to do is actually uh, click on add, and once you click on add, um, you're going to go to navigate to desktop, and from desktop, you're going to click on backup. Okay, navigate all the way to this game config. You're going to click on open. Now, I won't uh, actually um, click on continue because I do not have the problem myself. Uh, but if you do have a problem, you're actually going to click on continue. It's actually going to replace the game config .xml, um, dot xml okay, but I won't do it. It's, don't worry. It's completely safe. I've tried it. It works um, Because I tried it on uh, my friend's computer it actually did work um, But yeah, um, try it like this But before you try all these stuff and make sure all your drivers are installed or you have a, your red set installed uh, and yeah, all these things installed. Now, if it if it doesn't work after you do all this, I'm going to click on quit. If it doesn't work after all of this, you need to make sure you have to reinstall the game. Uh, other than that, uh, it's not going to work. But uh, as you can see, this fix of the GTA 5 manager is actually going to work. Do not worry. And yeah, guys, that was it for. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you later.